How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at a first join plugin. Um, so remember, guys, make sure to follow me on GitHub, and all of the code will be available for you guys on there. Nextly, make sure to not skip around in this video, uh, or you guys could miss something. So let's get started. We don't need that S there. So we've been working with these two main classes right now, events class and tutorial class, and we're going to pull true to that. Now, um, sorry if I sound a little different or if my voice kind of cracks out a little bit. I am sick, but I do want to get these videos recorded. Um, so first things first, let's go ahead. Let's head over to our events class and let's go at event handler. And then we're going to go public void on join player join event event. All right, so what we want, and then import everything. Uh, let's call for the player again here. Player equals event uh, get player. So on typical first join or join plugins, uh, we want something that's gonna send us a message, possibly load us in some items, and then maybe maybe teleport us to a certain location. Um, for instance, you can have um, a different uh, default teleport setup for players who first join the server and then a teleport setup for players who um, have been on the server but you still want them to go to the same spawn possibly if you're making like a mini game server and you want sort of a hub uh, you can use that you can you, you know you can do your hub uh, you can set that location for only returning players and not new players possibly you want new players to go to a tutorial room or something like that so we're just gonna log out here since we're gonna be doing stuff with the first join so we're gonna do something here that we usually always do which is send the player a message player dot send message and then we're going to we're actually gonna make a prefix here I actually already have copy and pasted here um, and now this prefix I would put on my, my main class but I don't want to really mess with calling for the main class and everything like that um, so we're gonna just have that there so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna call for a prefix inside of here plus chat color dot gold plus player dot get name plus you have joined or actually we'll say oops sorry about that we'll say welcome back and then we'll move this uh, we'll actually move this over onto this side so welcome back and then my name and let's go ahead and export this and reload the server there and let's join up and so welcome back and now uh, you're seeing there that it's it's showing me other messages here because that's that's essentials ah here it is so get rid of that M MOTD that's the message of the day you can set that to something else or you can you know build your own message of the day here and now let's reload Sorry about that. I didn't realize where that was going to come from. And now we see here, uh, welcome back, Malik D. Busick. You have joined the game. And now we can actually believe, I believe we can do set join message. So we can actually set our custom join message there. Um, so we can do it this way. So you can do the set join message as nothing. So that way we don't get that yellow writing. Or we can do it as this. It really doesn't matter um, but this join message here is gonna send it to everybody but we want something that's gonna be just you know authentic to the actual player there so now if we reload this we head back in here we leave we come back we can see now that we just have that and you have no mail that's another essential thing but I'm not really gonna worry about that and I'm not really liking that blue let's uh change that to green all right, and now what you also might want to do is possibly maybe give the player a certain custom item. Um, you know, it seems a pretty typical thing. So let's see, do we still have a custom item in here? We sure do. Oh, well, that's a custom recipe, actually, so we don't... Well, well, actually, we can take all this. So here's all of the code from our custom items class, or... Uh, episode that we did. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that in over here just to save time here. And we'll say welcome book. And then we'll change this to oh, chat color that light purple I want. And we'll set the item to a 
book. Just because, you know, we want to make it something, you know. Maybe it's like a tutorial book, all right? So we'll say, read this for instructions and rules. All right, and uh, we don't need to hide any attributes because there are no attributes. For a book, at least, there's no like damage or anything like that. And we'll go ahead and re oh, not reload. We have to player dot get inventory dot add item, and we will add item. And now what you can do is you can actually set the item to a certain s spot on their in their inventory if you want to, starting at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. Um, which actually, you know, I think we're gonna do. We're gonna do set item. So we're gonna set the item, and then we're going to set it to spot nine. Did I do this backwards? I think so. Nine item. There we go. And let's go ahead and export this once more. Reload, and let's leave the server. And let's rejoin. So spot nine. Oh, it's actually all the way up here. Interesting. I did not know that was spot nine. So this must be some really arbitrary number. So we'll just we'll just set it to spot zero here. So it's gonna set the item in spot zero to our book, wherever that's going to be. So let's actually just clear our inventory now. And so other things that put, like I said, is you might want it to teleport the player to a certain spot, right? So here we go, spot one. So now you can do that a couple of ways, right? So we can do it by setting a predetermined, you know, editable, you know, soft coded. And now soft code and hard code is a good thing to understand. So hard coding is when you hard code or when you write something inside of the actual code right nothing that can get changed soft coding is when you write it so you can change it in say a config file or a text file or what have you um, that's soft coding and hard coding is what we're just going to do now just to save time and then we're just going to go player dot teleport and then and we're going to teleport them to a location so we're going to need to create a new location so we'll call this spawn and obviously it's going to be invalid right now so we need location spawn equals new location and now we're going to need the world so p dot so player dot get world and now we need an x a y and a z and that should be good let's import that import location all right so let's just find uh some random point here let's just get this emerald block here and let's just put this here <coughs> excuse me so we have x negative 10 y 56 so we have x as a negative 10.5 it's a float so we can add a an f in there to make a float 56 and negative 2.3 is that what that was? Yeah, negative 2.3, and we'll have that as a float. Now, you can't just make these regular um, um, numbers here. What that's just going to do is it's just going to teleport them to the very edge of the block. Um, but that's honestly quite all right. So let's head over here, and let's leave, and let's come back. And now you can see there. Yeah, see, I'm on the very, very point of this block. Now, you can get exact uh, amounts here. Um, I, I'm not really too worried about that right now. Um, this is going to be more than plenty enough for what we're trying to do here. Um, same thing with the yawn pitch. Um, what's going to happen is it's going to teleport it to whatever direction it wants, in whatever direction you kind of, whatever um, the server feels like it. Well, if you do it in a config file, you can set the yawn pitch, and the yawn pitch is basically where you are looking. So that's something to sort of take note of. And that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more. And next episode, let me look on my spreadsheet or my uh, 
doc sheet here. Next one, we're going to be looking at a custom fireworks plugin. So uh, once again, all the code will be available to you on GitHub. So go over on GitHub and uh, look at your code and compare it to mine. And follow me on GitHub. Lastly, make sure to tweet at me at uh, the underscore source underscore code or tweet at the hashtag TSC coding and share your projects with me and anything else you'd like to share with me. Uh, so that's all I got for you. Take care.